Welcome to Pigeon River Farm, doing farming right. I'm Robert Brown, the owner of Pigeon River Farm. Thank you for viewing. Well, good evening. In tonight's episode, we're going to talk about my experience I had with the Esch no-till drill that we used on the farm here. It's one that's provided by our local county unit. Um, in this particular time, it's uh, very reasonably priced. So the county agent came over and helped me get everything set up. So this is the video on the whole setup process. Enjoy. Setting D. So uh, it looks like it's just between D and E. So I'm just going to tap right there. Okay. So I'm just going to right there. This is quite a beast. So. We'll put in just enough seed to be able to do a good testing. Is this organic? Uh, not the amount, no, I didn't get organic. Okay. All right, so before we put any more in, I just put in enough for us to do our, our test. Our test. Okay. So then. I'll push, push it, yeah. yeah. That one, and I'll push that one. one. All right. And as long as we got it under all the seed tubes, yep. Okay, these are the seed tubes. Yep, the, the ones, back. the smaller ones in back. All right. Okay. So then, we I crank that drive wheel 66 times, which is one tenth of an acre. Plastic Fleet Farm bag, which has a tear weight of zero for the most part, and our fishing, our fish mitt weigher. You ready for Mr. Helpful to get over yep, and help? Yep, you want to grab this and I'll grab the back side. Let me turn the camera in here. Okay, right here. What? Let me get my plastic bag. All right, you want to lift your end and we'll... Okay, I think we got her. And if we set it right, we should have about a pound of seed here. Should be one tenth of an acre. 1.27 pounds. So we could back her down just a little bit because right now it's set at a planting about 12 and a half pounds to the acre. Okay. So we can bet and probably again it's you know. How to run the whole thing perfect. again? You want, if we yeah. want to be split on, yeah. so I'll back it off just a little bit. Maybe go that way just a hair, Bob, I see. I, I'm going to bring it off last Yeah, time. when it was pointing downhill yeah. stuff. I don't know, we're off by a... Two and a half pounds. Two and a half pounds, so let's uh, go a little bit and see what happens. Two and a half, so percentage, that's about 20%. Yes. Yeah. I don't know so much about that one I just cranked yeah. down. This one in front, I've had a couple guys say they must have not 
crank is tight, and as they were planting, they looked back and it had dropped down to wide open. <gasps> so you got to really make sure you, you wrench on it. So, on, on the Esch model, here is where it goes. Simple enough. Well, this one must have had the auto open function. Yeah. Oh. down the road, right here is a, the safety mechanism. That, that's what keeps it from wanting to swing open, so you just got to flip it out of the way, otherwise when it starts to swing it, it'll just catch and sit there. Here's the operation, so straight up is tongue swing, right there, the ball straight up is tongue swing. Okay. And that direction is for planting, and that'll just operate up and down. It won't allow it to swing when you're out in the field if you grab the wrong lever. Okay. So we'll have to... Um Well, I hope this video was informative. Uh, a lot of uh, technology in this machine. Uh, I really enjoyed using it. It seems like it's done a great job getting the seeds into the ground. And I guess time will tell. I'll keep you posted on how well everything comes up. But it was highly accurate. Uh, it ended up being within almost a tenth of a pound per acre with accuracy. And I've never seen anything like that before. So hopefully this was beneficial to you and have a great evening.